All right, what's going on, everybody? I hope all of you guys are safe and doing fine right now in this pandemic. So this is going to be my first ever tutorial on this channel. So I hope this sounds okay and I hope my tutorial is good. And by the way, I have no script here, as you can see. Okay, so this tutorial is all about how to make your cheap condenser or cheap dynamic mic sound like a Shure SM7B. Well, not exactly, but a really, uh, really, really close to an, a very expensive and professional studio microphone. So what you need to do first is you're going to download Voice Meter Banana. So right now I am here at the software. How did I get that? So we're just going to want to search Voice Meter. And you're going to head on Banana. Voice Meter Banana, right? That, like this. Voice Meter Banana, the second one that pops up. And then you, you're going to want to download the install, not the download, okay? It may sound and it may look similar, but if you press here, it's going to install the voice meter banana. And if you press here, it's going to install the zip package and the normal voice meter, not the voice meter banana. After that, you click install and you follow your usual installation guide. Click finish. And this is what's going to appear on your screen now. First thing you want to do is you want to head on to your settings. To your system. To your sound and sound control panel right over here. And you want to make sure that voice meter is set to default. Now, if it is not here in playback, you set your voice meter input VB audio voice meter VAIO as your input, not the aux. The VAIO as your input in playback. Set that to your default in playback. And on recording, you want to make sure that voice meter aux output VB audio voice meter aux VAIO is your default at recording not the VAIO V the aux VAIO as your default in recording and the standard VAIO as your default in playback if that is okay exit that and make sure of course that voice meter is here for your input voice meter aux VAIO for your output the standard VAIO so now we're gonna wanna exit that and we are left here so this section here takes your mic, this one, right over here, the input, and it spits it out here and also here. Now, first thing you want to gonna do is you're gonna select your mic. Right now I have here double DM microphone high definition audio device, but you might ask me, hey the Ripper Gamer, what is this? It's really similar. It's the same name, but these first ones Uh, I'm sorry about that. Now, what you're wanna gonna do there, uh, I'm gonna explain you. Okay, so WDM, KS, and MME, those are just different audio drivers. WDM has zero latency, while KS and MME has a lot of latency. Uh, sorry guys for earlier, um, I accidentally pressed this, but now we're back. So. If you're having problems with a zero latency driver, which is WDM, you can always switch to your MME or KS. Okay, there's no problem with that as long as it works. After that, you can all want to press the same driver as your microphone. So if you press WDM as your as your input, your your hardware out is uh, supposed to be WDM. If it's MME here. MME here as well. If it's KS, KS, it's just like that. Now, this is the gain. As you can see, this is the normal gain of my mic, the Audio Technica AT2020, and I'm really not comfortable with mics up close. So this is this mic is about five inches away from my mouth or six inches away, or roughly half a feet. And for max uh, with the maximum gain. Uh, it's really like talking like really close to the mic. But in fact, if I talk really close to the mic, it sounds like this. Okay. 
So yeah, so this is six inches away from my from my mouth. And this one, the low here is like the it's bassy. It makes your voice like really low. Uh, and here in high, it makes your voice uh, really clear, but it's scratchy and really not comfortable to hear at the same time. This one doesn't really do any much. And here, FX Echo, it echoes your voice a lot. So if you want auto tune. You can use this but most of the time we are gonna use this to make our voice better so this is really exaggerated this I don't know this doesn't make a difference and also this so what you wanna want so what you guys want to do is just place this red square right here in the middle anywhere you want so here and here are the sweet spots for my voice, this is the sweet spot. And for the bass here, the equalizer here, here you really don't want to touch that. But here, you can touch this. So this is the aux. This is what powers our mic. That's why you can guys hear what I'm talking about. So for my voice and for my mic, uh, equal treble and equal bass is the right thing for me. It, it, it's, the, it's the one that's perfect for my voice and for my mic. And this one, this is your speakers. You can mess around with this too. As you can see, the gain here is at 4.0, not at the zero, the bass level. EQ, I really don't know what this does, but if I turn this off, there is a little visible difference on my voice. Stereo repeat. Well, I don't want to mess with this right now because I am recording. But if you want, guys, you can experiment on this. So yeah, and this one, B2, uh, here first, oh, sorry, here first, you really don't want to turn this off because it's, it's going to mute as you can see. Oh no, actually I'm wrong, I'm sorry. This is the, you don't want to mess around with B2 here. Actually, what? Wait, what? If it turns that off, speaking at all you're really not going to hear me speaking so it like mute, mutes the mic also here if i turn this off oh um, no never mind sorry and this one right over here um this is the part where you can he hear yourself you can actually turn this off it's not going to do anything to the mic but for my personal preference i want that turned on so i can know if i'm speaking too loud or there's something wrong with the software Alright guys, so don't mind these, just keep these like this. And this one, keep this on here, it's just up to personal preference. I'm gonna give you guys 10 seconds to copy my settings or you can just pause the video. Alright guys, so that's all about this video. All right, I'm gonna repeat without voice meter. My mic is going to sound like this. But with voice meter, it's like this. So really a huge difference. So if you find this video interesting and if you like this video guys, and if it really helped a lot, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any other future uploads from this channel. And that's all of us guys. Peace out. Stay safe. Goodbye.